Colorado produces and sells air conditioning systems that are amazingly energy efficient and green. Green for your checkbook, green for you, and green for the planet. Since 2004, people all over the world have been enjoying the comfort, energy savings, and environmental benefits that Colorado air conditioners deliver. The University of California issued a challenge for manufacturers to build a commercial air conditioner 40% more efficient than 2010 standards. Colorado accepted the challenge and built a hybrid system, the Colorado H80. The U.S. Department of Energy tested Colorado's H80 and found it to be almost 80% more efficient than the 2010 standards, doubling the aggressive efficiency challenge set out by UC Davis. That first Colorado H80 is now operational on a college building in Sacramento, California and is being fully monitored by the Sacramento Municipal Utility District. Here's an inside view of how the Colorado H80 works. Fresh air is drawn into the air conditioner through an outside air damper. For example, outside summer air may be at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The air is then filtered before it enters Colorado's patented heat and mass exchange process. The air that enters the heat and mass exchangers, or HMXs, is cooled without adding or removing humidity. The example air will be cooled more than 35 degrees with no change in humidity and will leave the HMXs at 72 degrees. The air then enters the cold refrigerant coils where additional cooling and dehumidification can occur if needed. The example air is cooled to 55 degrees. A high efficient fan moves the conditioned air through the process and into the building where it is distributed via the building duct system. The vast majority of cooling is performed by the HMXs by using about half of the entering air as working air. Water is evaporated into the working air, which pulls heat away from the plate heat exchangers that in turn pull heat away from the conditioned air. At 79 degrees, the working air example is over 30 degrees cooler than the 110 degree ambient air. The saturated and cool working air is used to remove heat from the hot refrigerant condenser coils more efficiently. The working air leaves the hot coils at 97 degrees and then goes on to cool the two-stage refrigerant compressor and working air fan, saving even more power. If 100% fresh air is not needed, automatic dampers are used to mix return air from the building with outside air. The mixed air goes through the air conditioner at cooler temperatures. In this example, only the first stage of the refrigerant system is needed, so the air conditioner requires less power and operates more efficiently. The UC Davis Challenge also targeted water conservation. They determined that regional water use for the Colorado H80 will be about the same as a traditional system meeting the 2010 standards when water use to generate electricity is accounted for. Colorado systems are green for your checkbook. Save thousands of dollars annually by reducing total electrical consumption 80%, reducing peak demand charges by a minimum of 60%, and getting even more peak savings by using Colorado with Smart Grid. Colorado air conditioning is green for you. More fresh air, better indoor air quality, exceptional cooling at extreme outdoor temperatures. Colorado is green for the planet. A separate Department of Energy study concluded that use of Colorado systems can help reach the energy use reduction goals of the EPA Act, and widespread deployment will ease the burden on the utility grid, with the greatest impact occurring during peak demand. Each Colorado H80 reduces carbon emissions about 22,000 pounds per year, the equivalent of not using over 1,100 gallons of gasoline. Colorado air conditioners are net water neutral, green for your checkbook, green for you, and green for the planet. Learn more by visiting colorado.com.